but be honest, are there ever times, you know, now or in the past, when you kind of miss that time before children, that life you had? I think only have, we all have whimsical moments, don't we? I think uh, the problem I have is the hashtag, the regretting motherhood. Mm. That's a really sort of mm. bold statement, which I, which I don't agree with. But I think we all get moments where you kind of go... Um, I, for example, I was at a lunch with a load of friends and they all stayed on and it, I think it became dinner and I had to go and do the mm. school run and I was mm. sort of thinking, oh, you know, mm. before children, I would have stayed on in there. But it lasts literally... 30 seconds and then I'm so thrilled to see my daughter when I get there. So yeah, I mean I kind of I kind of get that but I but the the deep-seated if someone's actually saying I regret having children, I would say maybe look at what the cause of that is. Mm. Maybe you've got postnatal depression yeah. or whatever. I think there's a deeper yeah. a yeah. deeper I agree meaning. with you. It's the, the hashtag shocked me actually. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it, it, like it's you like said, a, it's a very <gasps> yeah, it's a very kind of punch in the face mm. kind of I regret motherhood. Mm. And the other thing that would worry me is your children ever finding out you said that. Yeah. Yeah. I think ever for your yeah. children oh, to yeah. say I regret ever having you. I mean, I've heard women say I, I regret not having children. Yeah. Uh, that, that's how I've heard a very common tag. And and I and I remember before I had children, I've always wanted them since I was seventeen. Mm. And the idea when I heard a woman say, I don't want to have children, I thought that was crazy. But then I realised after having children and becoming a mother and all the responsibilities and things you have to give up, I understand now why women say, yeah. I, I don't want, I'm not choosing to have yeah. children. And well, I completely respect that. Well, Martine, that. you've got, um, Rafferty's, what, 15 months, yeah. so you've got the youngest baby amongst us yes. here. So it's fairly recent to you. Do you yeah. ever have moments where, not where you regret having him, but where you go, oh, this is tough? Yeah, I mean, 100%. I, trying to do a research chat the other day, Normally, I'm very sort of professional. I allocate my time. I go into our office that we've got. And um, I didn't have anyone with me. Rafferty normally sleeps at a certain time. Put him in his little cot. I was doing the research chat. He woke up and he screamed <laughs> and screamed and screamed. And I was breaking a sweat. I had him in one arm. I'm showing him stuff in the fridge just for the sake of it. I'm hanging him upside down. Still trying, trying to be a professional. Trying to be yeah. professional on the phone. So things like that, when you're trying to be professional, it's hard. And I also think it depends on your circumstances. Yes. Because some people are struggling, you know, and they're on their own. And they don't feel like they're giving the children the best that they can give them. They could be a really difficult child yeah. for whatever, whatever reason it may be. And they and don't have age. the support. As well. Yeah, I think your if age, you feel you've support, done a lot already. And it, it's some, or it could be something that if someone's really young and they've had children and they've missed out on a lot, they might say, you know, it's something the thing I is, regret. I think, it's, I think it's good that mothers feel that they're able to say and be totally honest because there's been yes. this taboo, hasn't there, mm -hmm. always? I think there's you know, still is, said yeah. that, that, that we're kind of indoctrinated to believe that motherhood is the be all and end all yes. and that we'll all be so good at it mm. and yeah. it'll all come naturally yes, and we'll yes, all be breastfeeding. Yeah. I think and it's good yeah, for people to say, actually, sometimes yes. it's really. Yeah, like sometimes yeah. it's really hard. Yeah, yeah. I remember once sometimes actually it's saying to one of you know my two of my girlfriends, I went, I don't know if I, you know this is all right to say, but like I really hate bath time. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking I'm the yeah. worst mother in the world, and one went, Oh God, so do I. <laughs> and we all, like, it was like a big confession. Yeah. You know, because yeah. time, my little yeah. one is, is a terrible eater. The older one is great, and then it's like the little one. It's like, come on, darling, one more mouthful, and it's like nothing of him. And I'm sitting there forever and ever, and I saw it was dread sometimes. Yeah. I think you time. feel like it's a slight on your character yes. as yeah. a woman. Do you yeah. regret if motherhood? You admit it. It. No, I regret not having more children. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, um, my sister Tina, who's actually here today. She had, a, she got pregnant at six and had a baby at, at seventeen and had four children, all under the age of ten. <laughs> You're right, all under, right, Tina. <laughs> all under the age of ten. So it was, it was really difficult for her because also she lived away from us. But I do remember when I had Lauren, if I have ever had any concerns, I was able to ring Tina and she'd give me advice. You know, I'd say, yeah. oh, I can't get her settled. You know, she'd say maybe she's teething, things that you didn't know. Yeah. So I and did had you her feel, as a backup. did you feel happy to kind of admit you were struggling with things? Yeah, yeah. and that, that's what I'm saying. I was lucky that mm. I had someone to ask. That she had two children mm. already, and so if there wasn't, I just say Tina's, about... Tina's mouth dropped open. <laughs> <laughs> Martine, did you worry about motherhood because you had depression and ME? Mm. Did you suddenly think maybe that will? bring it back on again. Yeah, I mean, I worried about... I mean, I, by that point, I so desperately wanted to have a baby and I wanted Jack to have a baby, and so I was prepared to do whatever it took. 
But saying that, even before the ME or the depression, I um, wasn't sure if I wanted to give up my choices anymore because I'd gone so long thinking I'm not going to have a baby. I want the choice to have that freedom. I want the choice to do these things. Yeah. What if I'm not going to change and become Mother Earth when I have this baby? It would, fr mm. it would frighten the life mm. out of me. And I thought, if I said that to other women, they're going to think I'm this scarlet woman or I'm not really a girl's girl or I'm not, you know, I shouldn't you're, be you're a mother. Selfish, and yeah, yeah, and I'm being selfish. But it was just genuinely things that I did think of because I'd had to think about maybe not having children. Maybe Maybe that wouldn't happen for me. And there is this thing where if you don't want children, you say, oh, I don't know. I, deep down, I did, but you say to people, oh, I don't know if I want children. I'll see how I go. I'm a career yeah. girl. People used to go, ah. Yeah. <laughs> or they used to go, oh, she's one of those ruthless women. You yeah. know? Or they um, go, oh, you'll change your mind when you meet the right man. Yeah. yeah, and do you know what? And I did. Funnily enough, it was Jack that made me change yeah. my mind because I was so conscious of my mum being on her own um, and bringing me up. And I saw how hard that was. Mm. I knew I had to, I yeah. needed, I personally needed that teammate to help me. If you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well, it's totally free. Every parent thinks that their child is amazing. No, like, I don't. You know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me explain. No, I think my child is wonderful. I love yeah. and adore him. He's the best yeah. thing since sliced bread in uh -huh. my eyes. Yes. I don't think he's amazing. You know,